Uh, hi. Uh, right, where am I at? Where am I at? What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I'm still not even nearly finished. It probably doesn't look any different. <laughs> but um, my my amount to do is just get going. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't think yesterday. Oh, that's probably enough. <laughs> Cause I was sort of tempted. I think probably a bit more. I'll, yeah, I'll get a few bit more bits done. <laughs> the good thing is, um, I'm fucking pleased with how much shit I've like retrieved and paired back up and stuff as I'm going. Because every time I've packed, it's just been fucking leaving a pile of shit. I've left the last place and it's right fucking shit. Oh, she deserved it. She fucking deserved it. I was like, what? I knew she was going to keep the deposit. I could be fucked to take her through the courts for it. I'm taking her through the courts over something else. Her illegal eviction. Once my head's all straight. I don't give a fuck how fucking messy her place was. That woman was vile. Fucking tidy it up then, you can. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> she was threatening me. She was threatening me. She said, my brother's coming around. He's a policeman. I was, yeah, I was going to get ready to say to him, excuse me, but what capacity are you here in? Because if you're here as a, as a police officer, <laughs> what am I under suspicion of? And if you're saying you're here to protect her, then I, that, that is just a ridiculous fucking suggestion. And as far as I'm concerned, you can get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> so I don't care if it's your fucking brother. Um, but she tried to threaten me. So I rung my mate up. I was like, oh, I know some men as well. You want to fucking bring men into the fucking equation? I can do that as well. <laughs> Um, but it was nice just to have another pair of ears there, just in case. And then, guess what? She didn't kick off. She was a cunt, though. Like a real cunt. Not just a gun. Oh, no. Fucking hell. Level up, bitch. She was magnificent at being a gun. I don't think, apart from one person, it really shouldn't have been the person to do this but yeah I think no other human being has ever spoken to me with as much hatred and bile and venom and just everything her eyes were almost doing that like that this is straight laced shop owner who fucking tries to be she's fucking horrible she's fucking horrible anyway fuck her I wouldn't I wouldn't touch her with yours. Seriously. She's... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Because of that, lots of the bags of shit is just, oh, fucking, what's this? What's that? Another bandana. So, you know, a ten peg. A fucking, a lighter. Do you know what I mean? Just random things. But, like, my medical drawer. I've invented horizontal shelving. Everything has got a compartment where it can just be real. Like all of the little old meds little, on the strips, they're all, they're all jammed down in between some objects, which is there. So I can take that out and put that back in. I don't need to rummage for anything. I can see everything. And that's one of my principles of the ADH desk that I was talking about. It's like, it's it's something about just seeing it all. Just no, it needs to be on display. Sort of ornamental display storage is my solution. Um, so I'm having lots and lots of little boxes and things which look like ornaments, but they're going to be, rather than having junk drawers, they're going to be like filing. <laughs> like I've got an old watch tin and then it's just got all my USBs. So anything to do with my decks and any USB adapter, any type of USB to fucking USB-C, any kind of fucking whatever, card readers, all that shit, all in that tin. And it just looks like a nice little tin when it's on my desk. But it's practical and I'm just going to develop that idea and, and keep it going because um, it's where I'm, I'm like god I don't even get out on my bike ride to wait on six I, I was sort of I was going to go up the, the I changed my plans throughout the day I was going to go up to the lock up and I thought no I just spend all day here and I was almost at the point where I was going to start taking some shit down to the car hang on I was just lowering down a little bit go low baby low um, not that low. I was almost going to take some shit down to the car, but I didn't. Um, if you fall off, I will fucking hurt you. 
Um, and then it was just faffing again. So it was like, yes, I am still taking away, wait, 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 longer than I think. But oh, I've got I've covered this in a, in a recent video, actually. It was something I read about years ago with ADHD that um, about estimating times. And it's to do with, you know, God, I remember like, I had a job that I should, should have walked into. <laughs> Um, but actually there was someone who was like make qualified. I was going to get the job. It was kind of an inside job job, although it wasn't. I was really late for that. I'd been working there voluntary. And I was for a, like a quarter to one interview. I was really late. And it was like, oh, I haven't got time for that now. I haven't got time for that now. I haven't got time for that. I got down to the bottom of the stairs. My bike was punctured. I had to walk. And it was when I'd broken my heel. So I had a really bad limp. And I was running. I was. I just got there. I was sweating. And it was like... Literally, that was just one of those examples where it's like, oh my God, it's happening again. I didn't even know I wasn't diagnosed or anything then. Um, and I remember when I read that, and it was just, that was one time that it stood out, but it's just, I seem to keep doing it every time. It's like, I need to have a bath, right? Half hour, hour for that. Whatever time I allow is wrong. And then I was also thinking, mate, you do everything in pain. Everything is stiff-legged and painful and difficult. Um, you know, and I got my workout in today. <laughs> I got my bike ride in, albeit late. I didn't bother with the DJ and I thought, I'd just sack that. I just took the day as it came. I had a lot of opportunities to get shitty. <laughs> and I didn't take them. Um, oh, yeah, what did I do? I did breathing. I did breathing. So it's like, Nah, fuck it, fuck it. Just, God, pull yourself together, pull yourself together. All right, all right, just breathe. All right? It's about that long, isn't it, normally? Not very fucking long. <sniffs> Multiply that by about 20 if you need to. That's what I did. I literally stood and I thought, I don't care how fucking long it takes. So I did a bit of um, Reiki shit. Just standing there. And... I did it again in between sets as well when I was training. As soon as I've like, um, I went up ten kilos. I got some, I got my plates, some of my plates from the lockup. So I put, um, I've gone up ten kilos on my incline bench press. So I was really proper, having to fail properly. That's what I wanted. There was at a weight where I was like, sometimes I'd do seven and sometimes I'd do twelve, and I'm like, yeah, that's, it's not right. I'm not being pushed fucking hard enough in the early stages. And now I am. <laughs> so I'm back to like three or four reps and then doing a rep and going, and that's exactly what you want. Moment MMF, momentary muscle failure. And they just go on their own. It's not you giving up. They just come back down. That's what you want. So I did that. I got that in. Um, but in between each set, I would just um, come back into the mudra and get all spiritual and just really try and breathe. It doesn't work how people say it does. I'm afraid it doesn't. And they say from whatever physical state you're in, you can just breathe. I was doing that. Not when your body wants to go. <gasps> it's got loads of exhaust to get rid of. All you do is just keep struggling and struggling. But even with that, I was like, you know that bit where you, you want to gasp? Like, no, just control it. I was just learning that bit of control over something. But I think I think you will need to agree that when you've literally just finished the set, when you've gone full exertion, you need to expel a lot of byproducts, and your body is should be allowed to take over. <laughs> um, but it was it it did sort of help. It did sort of help, and it's it's one of that I'm gonna like try and try and do it more often. Is it bit you know it's one of those things. It's remembering to do it. Um, and it's one of those infuriating things, that, like like with my favourite human the other week. And she's like, see, you can chill out, you can breathe. And I was like, yeah, you're not always here. <laughs> um, she can chill me out. I don't know how she does it, but she can. Um, but I do need to sort of try and learn to control it. Do you know what I mean? And normally it's just the amount of not success I've had with breathing. When you sort of try and go, breathe, fuck off, it doesn't work. 
because it's experience, it's not a negative attitude, it's the experience of trying it and trying it and not being able to do it. But um, today I did, today I did. So again, it's like in, in, in a lot of ways, it's like, yeah, I didn't meet any of my targets. <laughs> I took way too long to do everything. But you know what, I was occupied pretty much all of the day when I was sitting down and overloading a bit, I was still, I was still making plans. In actual fact, a lot of the silly little fiddly bits where I was at, like cleaning out some fucking box or bag. So I was like, oh, fucking sake it is. I'll tell you what, I've got fucking, I've built up a little sewing kit from all the remnants of bits that I've been finding. So I've got a needle threader now, I've got some threaded needles, I've got some rolls of cotton, and that's just all going in a little box and building it up. So a lot of it was doing that, and then this, this part of me go, come on, you need to get this done, you need to get that out. Um, so I underestimated it by a couple of days, it's not that bad. Um, so I think I'm going to do another 11-11 because there's not much left to fucking say. Other than I'm in a really happy mood. I've had loads of lovely people say beautiful, lovely things to me today. And I love them for it. And it makes me happy. <laughs>